one coupon. Yes. Did you know the largest GPT OSS model has 117 billion parameters? That's more than 13,000 times the number of words in the average book. So, what exactly is GPT OSS, and why is everyone in AI talking about it? Let's explore more deeper to find out. There are two models in the GPT OSS family GPT OSS 20B and GPT OSS 120B. The names show how many parameters each model has. Parameters are kind of like brain cells in AI. More of them usually means the model is smarter. The 20B version has 21 billion parameters, while the 120B version has 117 billion. But there's something extra here. These models use what's called mixture of experts, or MOE. This means the model doesn't activate all of its experts at once. Only the most needed parts are used when answering something. This saves memory, keeps things fast, and makes the models much more efficient. So why does this matter? Having open weight models like GPT OSS is a game changer. It means developers, researchers, or even regular users can finally run strong AI on their own systems. The smaller model GPT OSS 20B is made for low latency tasks, perfect for things like apps, chatbots, or edge devices. And the bigger one, GPT OSS 120B, brings deep reasoning to the table, ideal for advanced use cases. Instead of relying on closed systems where everything is hidden behind APIs, now it's possible to have full control. Want to use AI without sending data to the cloud? You can. Want to study how these models work under the hood? Go for it. This is a whole new level of freedom for anyone working with AI. One of the standout features is open weight access. That means the full model weights are available to download and use. This is great for people who want to research how these models work audit their behavior, or fine-tune them to do specific tasks. And since it's under the Apache 2.0 license, even commercial projects can use it without legal headaches. The architecture is also special. It mixes dense and sparse layers. This makes the models both smart and efficient. Also, they support very long inputs, up to 128,000 tokens. That's super helpful for tasks that need lots of context, like reading documents or analyzing long conversations. Another important thing is reasoning. GPT OSS supports chain of thought reasoning. This means the models don't just give answers, they explain their thinking. So when solving a problem, the model might show you its steps, kind of like a math teacher breaking down a problem on a board. These models aren't just good at chatting, they come with tools built in. That includes function calling, web browsing, and even running Python code. This makes them really useful for building AI agents that can get things done, not just talk. Also, they support structured output, which helps when building software around them. Instead of giving messy, unorganized answers, they can respond in neat formats that are easier for other tools to understand. Not every task needs full power, and GPTOSS gets that. The models let users choose how much thinking they want. You can set the reasoning effort to low, medium, or high. If you need a quick answer and don't care if it's perfect, choose low. But if accuracy is more important, like for solving complex problems, go with high. This helps balance speed and performance depending on what you're working on. It's a useful feature, especially when running the models locally or trying to save resources. Customizing GPTOSS is easy, whether you're doing simple tweaks or full training. These models work with LoRa, and which is a lightweight way to fine tune models without using too much computing power. But if you want, you can also do full fine tuning using Hugging Faces trainer tools. This gives people the chance to make the model talk or respond in any style they want. Want to make it talk like a teacher or answer like a tech support agent? Fine tune it. It's flexible and you're in control. The GPT OSS 20B model has 21 billion total parameters and activates 3.6 billion per token. It's designed to run on devices with 16 gigabytes of GPU memory or more. This makes it perfect for local or edge devices, like personal laptops or small servers. The GPT OSS 120B model is the heavyweight. It has 117 billion parameters and activates 5.1 billion per token. To run it properly, you'll need a powerful GPU like the H100 with 80 gigabytes VRAM. It's built for large, complex tasks and can handle serious reasoning. Both models are licensed under Apache 2.0,
which means they're free to use even in business products. How good are they? The performance of these models is impressive. GPT OSS 120B matches or even beats OpenAI's of 4 Mini in many areas. Things like coding, math, and complex reasoning tasks. It also does really well in benchmarks like MMLU, Healthbench, and Advanced Math Tests. GPT OSS 20B is no slouch either. It competes with O3 Mini and does even better in some places, especially in math and health-related benchmarks. Even though it's smaller, it still packs a punch. Where can you run it? One of the best things about GPT OSS is that you can run it how you want. You can run it locally on your own hardware or in the cloud if that's easier. The GPT OSS 20B model can run on many consumer GPUs or laptops, while the 120B model is built for stronger single GPU servers. If you prefer cloud, it's available on platforms like Azure AI Foundry, Databricks, Hugging Face, Northflank, and through OpenAI's Responses API. It also works with tools like VLLM, Olama, Llama.CPIP, and OpenRouter. These help with deploying and managing the model at scale. So what can these models actually be used for? Quite a lot. Enterprises can use them to build smart assistants that run fully offline, which is great for keeping things private and secure. Researchers and teachers can study how these models work or use them for advanced AI lessons. Fields like healthcare, law, and finance can use GPTOSS to run AI without worrying about sending data to the cloud. Developers can also build tools like chatbots, coding helpers, and plugins for apps or IDEs. It's open, so it's easy to shape it for whatever job you have in mind. What about safety? Open A. I didn't just release these models without thinking about safety. They use special fine-tuning methods to help reduce harmful or risky outputs. These models were trained using something called adversarial tuning, and also follow alignment hierarchies to help them behave better. OpenAI also launched a $500,000 red teaming challenge. That's basically an open invite for the community to find weaknesses or safety issues and report them. This helps make the models safer over time. If you're using GPT OSS in real apps, especially in public or production environments, it's smart to add your own safety layers, just like what big platforms do with closed models. Getting started with GPT OSS is simple. Just download the model weights from Hugging Face or GitHub and run them using Hugging Face chat templates or APIs with the Harmony format. If needed, fine tune with LoRa or full training and get involved with the growing developer community. GPT OSS is more than open source, it's open freedom. It gives full control to anyone building, researching, or running AI without cloud limits. From personal tools to large apps, it unlocks endless possibilities for everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.